Hello there. Today I will show you how I control the thermal and power limit throttling in my Asus TUF FX504GE with the use of throttle stop. The laptop has the Intel i7-8750H and it is supposed to run at 3.9 MHz on all six cores but never runs that way due to various throttling issues. But I have managed to lessen or eliminate most issues and I will show you what works for my machine. And as a reminder to the viewers that this is what works for my unit. Your unit may behave differently, but hopefully this video will give you a starting point on things to try. So on the first, on the front page of throttle stop, only speed shift is thick and the value of 80 is input. On the power limits window, unclick the clamp. You have default values of 45 and 70, and I push turbo time limit all the way up. For plain power limits, again default values with turbo time limit all the way up. You click enable speed shift and throttle stop starts. And for Intel GPU, which controls the power and current to the unit, it is 6, and for Intel GPU, 10. Most of the changes will be in the integrated voltage regulator. Cache, or cache, is undervolted to minus 157.2 with ICC max all the way. Core, which usually has the same values as cache, but in my unit, I get better scores on benchmarks if I have it undervolted to one minus 162.1 and the ICC max pushed all the way. System agent, Intel GPU, and iGPU on slice are also undervolted to minus 95.7. The biggest changes will be in the turbo ratio limits. My adjustments are 41, 38, and 35. The defaults are 41, 40, and 39. The adjustments still have 41 in the top so that programs that are optimized for single and dual core can still get good performance. On core and cache, I have pushed this unit to be stable at minus 175 running Cinebench. But when I have tried rendering a video in DaVinci Resolve with duration of more than 20 minutes it will give me a blue screen. So these values represent the most stable for me doing everything that I plan on doing. That's it. I will now show you how Cinebench runs with and without the turbo ratio limit. Now I will show you how throttle stop can control the laptop's behavior. This is with the stock turbo ratio limits. So 41, 40, and immediately some throttling.
the more throttle me. And if you notice, it has down clock to 32. But it's a decent enough score. So now we clear. We wait for the fans to ramp down. Okay, fans are down. We will now change the turbo ratio limits. 38, 35. Hit apply. Okay. Here we go. So it's locked at 35. So far, no throttling. And it's not too far off from the score at 39 megahertz while running at 35 and no throttling at all. Okay, now I will show you how it behaves on Cinebench R20. Again, we bring it up to the stock numbers. So 41, 40, and 39. Hit apply. Okay. You clear your temps. Make sure it's clear. Go for a run. So again, immediate throttling. But it still runs and you see the power draw. It's not limited to 45, but it still runs. Now with PL1, it's throttling and it's now down to 31. All right, it's done. If you notice, highest temperature is 81, which is still below what ASUS set, which is 88 degrees. So no thermal throttling, but other forms of throttling. So while the fans are ramping down, we will change our turbo ratio limits. 38 and 35. We hit apply. Okay. We clear the window. We set on your temperatures. Fans are down. 
This is the second. This is now the run with the adjusted turbo ratio limits. So it started, selected 35, and the window is clear so far. So first signs of throttling. You notice it stays around 45 watts. But it's a constant load. Okay, run is finished. We only have this forms of throttling, no thermal, highest is 80 degrees. And note of the score, again, quite similar to the one with the unadjusted turbo ratio limits. All right, now we are set up in DaVinci Resolve. We have a 30-minute clip of transcoded footage to DNX HD on disk 2. So it will be read from this disk, processed by the program, and written to disk 1, which is on the laptop's internal HD. So on our adjusted turbo ratios, we go for around the venture resolve. Now original footage was shot in 60 frames per second. You watch it here. CPU which all which does the decoding and then encoding to H264 which is the codec of our product here. C memory is not so intensive. This is just reading, and yes, it does use the NVIDIA GPU. And on throttle stop, you see, so far, no throttling. Now I will speed up the footage. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. So, 30 minute clip rendered in 30 minutes. So, almost one is to one. We had one incidence of PL2 throttling, which we were able to to overcome by re-engaging the overboost mode in the fans. On this unit, it is function plus F5. That way. So, that's it, guys. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. See you in the next one.